Welcome to Indiana News Desk. I'm Joe Wren. Well, after a soggy start to the summer, you can add racial tensions to the list of problems hurting vendors at the Bloomington Farmers Market. The decision by Mayor John Hamilton to suspend the market for two weeks is drawing mixed reactions from community members. As Melvin Reese sets up his booth at Bloomington's Tuesday Market, he's already thinking about what he will be doing this Saturday when the Bloomington Farmers Market is supposed to take place. I couldn't believe it. I thought, what are we going to do? Reese is reacting to Mayor John Hamilton's decision to suspend the market on August 3rd and August 10th. I took this action based upon specific recommendations from our local public safety officials and after consulting with others locally and nationally. It was a very painful decision. It was a decision announced days after a controversial arrest at the market. Are you willing to leave? Otherwise, you are going to be subject to being arrested. I'm not willing to leave. Okay. A video of protester Kara Kadu being escorted from the market last Saturday through throngs of shoppers, vendors and hecklers was the last straw for the mayor. The suspension follows weeks of tension between vendor Sarah Dye and other market vendors and visitors. Dye has been allegedly linked to white supremacist leading groups and according to FBI transcripts, met with Nolan Brewer, who was convicted of vandalizing a Carmel synagogue last summer. She also declined to comment on a restraining order she filed last month against a man who allegedly made comments about her on Facebook. Earlier in the summer, Hamilton resisted calls to remove Dye's Schooner Creek Farm booth from the market, citing concerns over violating her First Amendment rights. The First Amendment also prohibits using the coercive power of government in response to the content of individual speech. But when reports surfaced of activists at the market showing up with guns and knives, he decided to act. Vendor Linda Chapman says city officials should have acted sooner. I don't think that they truly understood the anger that the community was feeling about these vendors being at the market. A lot of the vendors who set up at the Tuesday Bloomington market also come on Saturdays. So the city closing the Saturday market for the next couple weeks takes a major bite out of their bottom line. It's already been a difficult year because of the weather and a lot of farmers are just now getting into produce well and so yeah it's going to hurt. Chester and Janice Lehman run Old Lane Orchards and travel to the Saturday market from Linton. They say July and August are the busiest times of year so losing two days because of this controversy not only results in lost revenue but increases the chances some of their unsold fruits and vegetables could go to waste. I think a lot of people don't understand the the dynamics of farming and the hard work that it is and that most of us, in fact all of us I would say, uh, work together. Mayor Hamilton says he will huddle with the police chief and determine what security enhancements need to be made over the next several days before the market can reopen. Both Hamilton and police chief Mike Dekoff say there have been specific threats but they wouldn't elaborate. But the mayor does blame two outside factors for inflaming racial tensions at the market. He cited Indiana's lax gun laws and racist rhetoric that extends to the White House. Is a toxic stew of bigotry and hatred, of intolerance and divisiveness that is being brewed by many all across the country, including our own president. Reese says he will make it through the market's hiatus, but he worries about how his fellow vendors who travel to the Bloomington market from all over the state will deal with the fallout. However, he understands why the mayor made the decision. They don't want nobody hurt, and I understand that. You know, I don't want nobody hurt either. You know, that's what happened out in California at that festival last weekend. The guy just rode in there and started cheating, you know, so I, I don't know. I hope we, we don't want that. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Adam Pinsker.